What is operator overloading and how can we see operator overloading with the help of programs in C++? Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from Goedu Hub Technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about operator overloading in C++. Operator overloading or when an operator is overloaded with multiple jobs, it is known as operator overloading. It is a way to implement compile time polymorphism which we discussed in very previous videos that what is polymorphism. Key points about operator overloading are, for an operator overloading to work, at least one of the operands must be a user-defined class object. That means any one operand on which operator is working must be a user-defined class object. Compiler automatically creates a default assignment operator with every class. The assignment operator operates, does all the members to the right side to the left side and works for most of the cases. This behavior is same as the copy constructor which we discussed in constructor videos. We can also write conversion operator that can be used to convert one type to the another type. Any operator that can be called with a single argument works as conversion constructor means it can use to implicit conversion to the class being constructed. The very first type of operator overloading is arithmetic operator overloading. Now here in this example you can see that the operator function plus to the overload is check value is incremented and then again it is being overloaded to the check operator similarly multiplication and the other operators and then the values have been given for the set data and the get data of the operator and this is the following output for the programming you can refer to the tutorial increment and decrement operator overloading now how increment and decrement operator overload increment is 2 plus sign and decrement is 2 minus sign so the overload on the operator int x and the void operator is plus plus i Similarly, the void operator minus is for minus minus i. And then you have to display the value of i, the original value and similarly the after increment and after decrement values you will display with the help of display function. So the original value, this is a snapshot of the program which we have run, is that original value of i is 10. After increment it gets to 11, that is plus plus i. Next is after decrement, minus minus i you have to print, that is 10, it is decremented by 1 i minus minus is i minus 1 basically so it gets to 10. Next is the memory management operator which we have already studied in the dynamic memory allocation that new and delete operators are the two new operator. So new and delete operator can be overloaded globally or they can be overloaded for specific classes also. If these operator are overloaded using member functions, that means doing the member functions thing, it means that operators are overloaded for that specific class only. If overloading is done outside a class, that is it is not a member function of a class, then the overload is new and delete operator will be called anytime for the make use of these operators within or outside the class. This is known as global overloading. This is the concept of global overloading. Then when overloading is done outside a class and overloaded operators new and delete can be called anytime to use the operators, then this is known as global overloading. New operator works on void the asterisk symbol and the operator new and then the size of that particular similarly delete operator also works on the operator and then delete so here you can see that delete is mentioned here over a new operator and malloc and calloc are also the memory management functions of c++ and this is how it gets done so in the array 0 1 2 3 4 are the values which you have inserted and then the delete operator overloading is done that means the array has now been overloaded and now overloading of new and delete for a specific particular class. So for other examples you can refer to the videos but what we studied by the end of this video is that what is operator overloading, how can an operator be overloaded and then the addition operator overloading arithmetic that is plus and then the increment and decrement operator overloading. Similarly the new and delete how they can be the memory management operators being used for the operator overloading and then freeing that particular stack of memory for more queries and more videos on object-oriented programming concept we will look into upcoming videos thank you